So I would say from every single Samsung Galaxy out there, there is one particular Galaxy phone that I don't think anybody really wants. And it's really weird because it's probably one of the better phones that they make. I think it's a very, very solid device with so much capability and a ton of features. But from what I can see and from my day-to-day -day use, I don't see anybody using these phones at all. And it's sad, like I said, because it's probably one of the better phones they've ever made. And it is genuinely their plus lineup of phones that Samsung makes. So the Samsung Galaxy Pluses from the S10 Plus, the S8 Plus actually where it started off at, but the S9, S10, S, you know, so on and so forth, all the way up to the S23 Plus right now, I don't really see too many people buying these phones. And I do think it's because of its kind of awkward pricing strategy. So for one, for those of you who don't know, the S20 Plus series of phones that Samsung makes are the bigger versions of devices that Samsung makes beyond than just like their, you know, standard base model and their ultra lineup. It sits right in the middle of them. And I think these are very good phones. They're just bigger versions of the standard base models with bigger batteries, usually maybe a cooler feature here and there, but usually it's just a bigger version of a phone with a bigger battery. And that is something that I really do prefer and like a lot from these types of phones. They don't really require, I mean, they're a little bit more expensive, but I think the biggest thing is probably the size. I think a majority of people probably prefer a smaller size, but even for people who want bigger phones, this type of phone may not be the first phone they actually recommend, you know, they actually, you know, buy for the most part. And I think the reason for that is two things. One, because this phone is a little bit more expensive, people will just naturally probably go for the S23 Ultra or the Ultra lineup of that phone because they're just kind of closer to that price tag, but also because it is just, you know, it's, it is a better phone on the Ultra lineup. That's why some people may not even look at this thing as a device they want to pick up. But also another thing is actually when it comes down to this specific device and last year's Ultra phone. So we all know that with Samsung's, they typically do depreciate quite fast. It's not the fastest one to depreciate in terms of price tag or anything, but it is a pretty quick depreciating phone in terms of the price. So because of that, the S21 plus, or the S23 plus, by the time this phone comes out, the Ultra phone of last year is probably going to be cheaper in the used market than this specific device. So why would anybody, if they don't have to buy a brand new phone, why would anybody want to pick up this device when they can buy last year's Ultra phone for even cheaper than this specific device? So that's another, not a con, but another reason why this specific device is kind of hitting a little bit of a wall there. And although I do think the S23 Plus is a very, very good phone, I do think that there are some reasons why nobody pretty much buys this phone. I've never seen any Plus phone, I think, in, in public. I've gone a lot of places. I've never seen anybody use any of the Plus phones ever. It's usually the base models, the Ultras I've seen a few times, but usually the Plus phones I don't really see too often. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.